Hello. Am I audible? Audio, video clear? Please mention whether the audio video is clear. Hello. Yes. So welcome back after maybe a month I am restarting the series due to some personal reasons and due to some health issues I was not able to continue classes. Yeah to be frank there was tight schedule of classes and I also had some travel to do. So that is why we are restarting. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have intimated that day itself that few days break will be there but the break went on for one month more. So anyway, we are restarting before your gate exam, your syllabus will be covered. Aptitude, quantitative or non-verbal ability aptitude, there are seven more lectures only. After this, six more lectures only. Then verbal ability, that also will be covered before your gate exam. Gate exam is now like exactly one month from now. By that time, we can easily finish 17 more lectures only there. We have about 30 days to complete. So before your gate exam, your topics will be covered in this free course. Yeah, we. I was also missing this course badly because uh, this was a course I, uh, yeah, um, that I want to give my maximum to because through my platform itself and um, through uh, able to reach to more free students or more students who are not able to be part of the full length courses in plus platform or other platforms I work. But anyone can access this course and completely free of course able to access the course that is why as anyone can access the classes that is why I was also trying my maximum to give my maximum. So anyway we can restart. Uh, after this long break let us restart this course so new people if you are not aware this is the 34th lecture in this course every day we are discussing new topic there is no like continuity needed from previous chapter but as it is as it is a full length course I am numbering it like 34th lecture in the continuous course all the previous classes are available in this playlist and this is for all gate aspirants there are about 29 subjects in gate all those 29 subject gate aptitude section is same itself so this course is also common for all these streams and not only gate exam and other competitive exam also this topics are common in many competitive exam. CSAR and other exams also. So all of your friends who want to attend this session, please invite them. Let more people be part of this free initiative. And uh, I'm so happy that more people are able to watch it. Like uh, the previous sessions also, many people are watching daily recorded also. So happy to see that. Spread the word. Keep supporting this initiative so that more such initiatives will happen in the future. And this is how you can be part of the Telegram channel and WhatsApp group. In the description of this video, you can get all these free resources I am providing. And uh, this is the book I have written for CSAR net general aptitude section. If you are preparing for CSAR net, this is currently the bestseller book for part A section of CSAR net. Okay, without more intro, let us start today's session. Just like we did earlier, we will be discussing. Yeah, today's topic is miscellaneous questions of reasoning. We cannot consider it as a single topic because that many questions have in come. But reasoning miscellaneous question, checking your reasoning ability, those kinds of questions and topics that is not very like um, repeatedly asked, but it is important to know those concepts. Those topics also will be discussed in today's class. With questions, I will explain more. Yeah, this is a simple observational ability. Your observational ability is checked. All of you try just like we did earlier. I will start the timer also so that you get an idea and I get an idea how much time you are taking for each question. Two minutes to try, all of you try please. Try this all of you, two minutes to try.
Vijaya, that is what I told due to some personal reasons. I was not in this town itself. My studio is in actually Bangalore and uh, I was not in Bangalore and I was coming to come. Uh, I was hoping to come early to Bangalore, but uh, but I could not. That is why. And now also for two, three days, I am coming this. One reason was to take classes for you people. Uh, SP, yeah, more or less regular. As I have told earlier also, what I promised, see, your syllabus will be covered before your gate exam. That I will keep that and I uh, before your gate exam. Yeah, I, some of you may be thinking you want the courses course to be over like one week at least before gate exam that I will consider. I will try my maximum to co cover it as early as possible. But I will suggest uh, some of the things when you hear just before exam also that will be striking more. That is also an aspect. So, uh, that will also be good. And new students, if you are, if you want to be part of my telegram channel, the link is given in the chat. It is tagged in the chat. Click on it. It's a free platform where you can discuss with others also. And also you will get update of all my free classes and all other free resources like flashcards and other resources I provide also you can see there. Some of you already got option C. Let's see whether it is correct. Very simple question. Na? It's just checking whether you are reading the question properly and then uh, analyzing it properly. There is not, no theory, nothing needed in these kinds of questions. And hope all of you have invited your friends also, all our previous students. Happy to see all the names that I used to see daily in this course. Uh, happy to see you all again. Yes, Vijaya, verbal ability ka bhi classes. Verbal ability classes also will be there. Don't worry. Okay, so two minutes are over. So I will explain very simple question. What is the question saying? A building has several rooms and doors are shown in the top view of the building given below. So this is a top view of the building. From the top you are seeing like this. And the doors are closed initially. This doors are closed initially. One, two, three, four doors are there. They are closed initially. What is the minimum number of doors that need to be opened in order to go from the point P to point Q? Yeah, it is just like the puzzle you used to do in your school days. Not school days, like when you were before school also, you used to see this maze puzzles and all. Na? So anyway, from P to Q going, definitely you need to go this way. Question is asking minimum number. Na? So this way, then this way, then this. That is one way. Otherwise here, here that will be more lengthy. Minimum is asked. So minimum will be this itself. So minimum two should be there. Some of you may be like, is there anything more to this question? No, there is nothing more. Sometimes in gate also, CSAR also, other exams also, you feel like the question is so tough looking at the picture and looking at the size of the question. You may feel that question is very difficult, but actually the question is so silly. So this is such a question. It is all about understanding the meaning of the question. Welcome Shalina. So anyway, if that is clear, try the next question. Yeah, one more thing, uh, our 11 o'clock timing I cannot keep every day. Tomorrow 11 o'clock class will be there. Some days these evening timing classes will be there. So please cooperate. In case you cannot attend it live, recording will be avail available. So recording se bhi dekh lena so that you don't miss any lecture. Try this, another simple question. Just your observational ability is enough. Latest exam mein aaya tha yeh, 2022 mein. Okay, Nishan. Some days it will be morning also. Okay, the timer 40 seconds more.
yeah it is 360 degree view not three three thousand six hundred just three thousand three three sixty degree view okay I'll correct it it is difficult to put the degree so i will just put 360 itself it is understandable so look at this an art gallery engages a security guard to ensure that the items displayed are protected diagram below represents a plan of the gallery where the boundary walls are opaque opaque means you cannot see the other side not transparent transparent here side so it is not visible outside other side the location of the security guard posted is identified such that all the inner space of the gallery is within the line of sight of the security guard. Matlab usko sara region, uh, uh, all the line of sight, sorry. Um, so, security guard should be able to see the whole uh, gallery. If the security guard does not move around the posted location, he is not allowed to move through this region. He can stand one place only, but he can rotate 360 degree view hai. and has a 360 degree view. That means if this is a security guard, he can turn around like this and look the other side or this full 360 degree he can cover. But he cannot move front or back like this. That is the meaning of the question. Okay, which one of the following correctly represents the set of all possible locations among the locations PQRS where the security guard can be posted to watch over the entire inner space of the gallery? For example, if you think about P, this position P, what is the problem? The line of sight will be this much. This much area can be covered, but R cannot be covered. Are you understanding? Because this is opaque, na? P cannot see through this. So definitely, this place, you cannot cover this region R. Or this region, these places you cannot cover at all. Only the remaining places can be covered. So, P is not answer. B, Q, sorry, R, same problem hai na. R ka line of sight aisa hoga. Itna hoga line of sight. Ye region cover nahi kar sakta or C nahi kar sakta. So, definitely R also not possible. But Q and S, it is okay na. Why? Through Q, forward when when the security guard look forward you can see all these regions and look backward you can see this region so q region is totally okay and s region same way like q region forward you can see here backward you can see here that means q and s two regions are fine option c is the answer it is so simple now did you all understood it is so simple Please respond, is this clear or not? Very true, Shruti. It is just to understand the meaning of the question. Likewise, questions were asked. Yeah, this was little more. Geometry aspect is also there, but reasoning is more important here. We can say it's a geometry problem also, but try it. It's a miscellaneous session anyway. A hybrid question we can say reasoning and geometry together
Okay, so just a minute. D option some of you got. Yeah, this is a little dif difficult question I will agree. A plot of land must be divided between four families. They want their individual plots to be similar in shape, not necessarily equal in area. Area different ho sakta hai, lekin shape same hona chahiye. Geometrical shape same hona chahiye. Matlab ek person ko square mila to, sara people ko square milna chahiye. Rectangle hai to sara rectangle, circle hai to sara circles. Likewise. But the area different ho sakta hai, matlab एक पर्सन को ऐसा एक्स स्क्वायर मिला दूसरा पर्सन को छोटा स्क्वायर मिला दैट इज ओके फॉर द दैट इज व्हाट द क्वेश्चन सेज नॉर्मली पीपल डोंट एग्री विद दैट बट दिस फॉर पीपल आर वेरी स्ट्रेंज दैट दे डोंट वांट इक्वल एरिया इफ द एरिया इज लेस आल्सो द शेप शुड बी सेम दैट इज अ कंडीशन दे हैव टू रॉप्स आर1 एंड आर2 आर ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट ये आर1 आर2 रॉप ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट है उसको चेंज नहीं कर सकता एंड कैन नॉट बी मूव्ड What is the least number of additional straight drops needed to create the desired plots? Desired plot kya hai? Four equal shapes, e, uh, sorry, similar shapes, e, not necessarily in e, equal in area. So a single drop can pass through three poles that are aligned in a straight line like this. Yes, straight uh, drop three poles se cover, pole cover kar raha hai na? This, this, this. Here also three. So look at the. I will show you the answer. By that you will get more idea. So I will place one drop here. Is that okay? If I place one drop here, three poles I have joined. One drop here, that is also okay. One drop here, that is also okay. That is drop three more drops. Drop three, drop four, drop five. And now see what are the different shapes. Here you can see a like a pentagon, a pentagon shape. You can see, na. And this is also a pentagon, smaller in size. That is okay. Area can be different. Question told. This is also a pentagon. This is also a pentagon. Are you seeing? Yeah, by looking it carefully only, there is no mathematical theory to mention here, or that is not the way you should do it. You have to reason it, or you have to try and there are different possibilities. So that is three is the sorry. Question is asking what a single drop. Uh, What is the least number of additional drops? Three drops, kafi hai. One, two, three. Three drops, drops kafi hai. So option D is the answer. How many of you understood? Please respond. It's a very good question, na? Reasoning and geometry together it was asked, but geometry area of idea or uh, no other property is needed. Just the polygon. It's a polygon. That's all. So if that is clear, try the next question. Yeah, this is another reasoning good problem. Try this, all of you.
Okay. So, this is a very interesting problem. P looks at Q while Q looks at R. P looks at Q while Q looks at R. P is married. P is a married person. And uh, R is unmarried person. Unmarried person. But Q, whether it is, whether he or she is married or not, we don't know. Number of pairs of people in which a married person is looking at an unmarried person is. Matlab, kitna pair mein married person, unmarried person ko dekh raha hai. PQ ko dekh raha hai, QR ko dekh raha hai. So, PQ ko dekh raha hai, lekin Q ka marital status pata nahi hai. So, Q unmarried tha, to married person, unmarried person ko dekh raha hai. Married hai to nahi dekh raha hai. But married hai ya unmarried hai pata nahi hai. Now that is why many of you opted option D. Which is absolutely, absolutely wrong answer. Why wrong answer? Because it can be determined if you consider all the cases. In a recent lecture on tips and tricks for general aptitude I told you. Consider all the cases. Make sure that you are not missing any cases. Here we don't know Q's marital status. But we know that either Q will be married or unmarried. Na? Ye dono ka alawa or koi nahi or kuch nahi ho sakta. Married hoga ya unmarried hoga. But in both the cases P is married and Q is un R is unmarried. So these are the two cases possible. Married P is looking at married Q. That is not what we want. But married Q looking at unmarried person, this pair is what we want. Na? Married person looking at an unmarried person. That is in case 1. In case 2, this married P is looking at an unmarried Q. So in that case also, married person is looking at an unmarried person. Na? So in both cases, married person is looking at an unmarried person. That is what the question is asking. Are you all understanding? Exactly, Omkar. But it is not two pairs, it is only one pair because if this happens, this will not happen. If this happens, this will not happen. It may say ki ho sakta hai na at a time. Two parallel realities it is. One of the reality only will happen at a time. So definitely one is the number of pairs. Is that clear, all of you? Please respond. So option B, one is the answer. If that is clear, let's go to the next question. Yeah, these are miscellaneous reasoning problems. Try this. This is a very interesting one. Vijaya, data sufficiency in gate exam, it was not asked that much. Kam number question aya hai data sufficiency ka. Direct questions have in come. Indirectly only data sufficiency they have asked. In other exams it is asked more. As we are focusing more with respect to gate syllabus. That we will discuss on another course or something. And those who are watching this live, do hit the like button if you feel this session is good. And do comment and do share this video to maximum people so that more people be part of this free, see, free initiative. That is okay Vijaya. You go through the previous year questions then only you will get an exact idea. Recently, I have taken few special classes and YouTube live where I have explained data sufficiency questions also. When we discuss rapid fire lecture where multiple uh, topics questions were discussed together.
B option many of you got. Let's see. There are three boxes. One contains apple, another contains oranges and last one contains apple, both apple and orange. So there is three type of boxes. Three type of boxes are there and three labels are there. And this is very important. All three are known to be incorrectly labeled. Three no label galate, ek label galat na ye, ek label galat hai, that is not what it is called. Two label wrong, no. All three are wrong. That is very important. That means there will be a box which is labeled apple. Uska content apple na yoga na. Kyoki, three no boxes ka labeling wrong hai, misplaced hai. Matlab. इसके ऊपर एप्पल स्टिकर लगाया तो उसका मतलब क्या है इसके अंदर पूरा एप्पल नहीं होगा एप्पल स्टिकर मींस एप्पल ओनली स्टिकर ऑरेंज ओनली स्टिकर एप्पल एंड ऑरेंज स्टिकर दीस आर द थ्री लेबल्स और स्टिकर्स ओवर दिस बॉक्स ये ये स्टिकर से क्या पता चलेगा इसके पूरा इस, इसके अंदर पूरा एप्पल नहीं होगा इनसाइड इट इट इज नॉट फुल्ली एप्पल Inside this it is not fully orange. Inside this it is not both apple and orange. It is either apple only or orange only. So from here we need to start. Iska content either pura apple hoga ya pura orange hoga. Why? Because iska label apple and orange hai na. Both apple and orange likha hai. So tino uh, labeling galat hai. Tino labels galat hai. So iske andar pura, sorry, apple orange ka mix nahi hoga, either pura apple ya pura orange. Do cases yaha bhi hai, like the previous question we discussed. Do cases hai. So isse ek random, question is asking, minimum kitna box, sorry, minimum one box choose karke, uska sirf ek hi apple pull out karke, decide karna hai, kaun sa box mein apple hai, kaun sa box hai. Box may orange hai, consa box may apple and orange hai. That is what the question is saying. And the answer is apple and orange because apple and orange labeled box hai, apple nikala to. Uska meaning kya hai? Isse apple mila to. Isse, iska pura content apple se. There is only apple in this. So that is case one. Case one getting apple from this, that means this is the apple box. Ye apple box hai to, ye apple box nahi hai. ये ऑरेंज बॉक्स भी नहीं है क्योंकि इसका लेबल ऑलरेडी ऑरेंज है सो ये एप्पल बॉक्स है तो ये एप्पल बॉक्स नहीं है या ऑरेंज बॉक्स भी नहीं है तो ये ओनली एप्पल एंड ऑरेंज बॉक्स हो सकता है एप्पल बॉक्स एप्पल एंड ऑरेंज बॉक्स एंड दिस विल बी ऑरेंज बॉक्स डिड यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड द कंटेंट ऑफ ऑल थ्री बॉक्सेस वी कैन फाइंड बाय जस्ट गेटिंग एप्पल फ्रॉम दिस बॉक्स सो चूसिंग दिस बॉक्स इज अ स्ट्रेटजी वी आर यूजिंग वो स्ट्रेटजी Try kiya to, we cannot say which box of apple or orange or apple and orange box. We can say the strategy to say. Because when you take a random uh, fruit from this, that can be apple also, that can be orange also. Both are equally possible. But iske alawa or koi possibility nahi hai, like we did in the previous question. Now, isse orange mila to, what will happen? That is case 2. Orange mila to, ye box hai na? ये बॉक्स के ऊपर एप्पल लिखा है तो इसके अंदर एप्पल नहीं है इसके अंदर ऑरेंज भी नहीं है क्योंकि ऑरेंज ऑलरेडी इसके अंदर है सो डेफिनेटली दिस इज नॉट द ऑरेंज ओनली बॉक्स आल्सो सो दिस शुड बी द एप्पल एंड ऑरेंज बॉक्स बोथ मिक्स्ड बॉक्स सो दिस इज ऑरेंज बॉक्स दिस इज एप्पल एंड ऑरेंज बॉक्स सो दिस शुड बी एप्पल बॉक्स आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस प्लीज रिस्पोंड आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस दैट मींस दोनों केसेस में Tino content, Tino box ka content hume samaj mein aya by just taking one single apple, sorry, one single fruit from this, one single sample from this. So, the box that you need to choose is option B. Are you understanding all of you how option B is the answer? Please respond. If that is clear. Yeah, this is actually a cube and dice problem, but gate may cube and dice separate topic jaysa teach nahi kar sakta because only one time they have asked directly from cube and dice. So, let us, uh, let us discuss it as a reasoning miscellaneous problem itself. All of you try. Yeah, those of you missed any of the previous lectures, the playlist is given in the description of this video. Going through that playlist, you can see all the previous 33 lectures in this video. This is a free course covering the entire gate general aptitude 
syllabus. 34 lectures completed including today and 6 more lectures in the quantitative aptitude or non-verbal ability part. उसके बाद वर्बल एबिलिटी का 10 लेक्चर्स होगा उसके बाद या उसके बीच में मे बी इन बिटवीन आल्सो वी विल स्टार्ट दैट आई विल लेट यू नो Okay, some of you got an answer. Let's see whether it is right. So, a cube of side 3 units is formed using a set of smaller cubes of side 1 unit. So, what is happening? Cube, actually I will first show you how dividing cube you can do. Because cube actually there are different types of problem. But gate may only one time they have asked a typical cube problem. That is why I am not involving more into it. So, anyway, uh, we can say that, look at this. A 2 centimeter cube, 2 centimeter side length cube, if you are converting it into 1 centimeter side length cube, that means 2 centimeter ko aada kia, that is 1 centimeter, that means 2 pieces length, 2 pieces of breadth, and 2 pieces uh, height, that is 2 into 2 into 2, 8 pieces will be there. Or in other words, if it is n centimeter cut into 1 centimeter, n into n into n, n cube will be the total number of pieces. So, 3 centimeter cut into 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter. Then 3 cube will be the total number of cubes, smaller cubes I am saying. All of you are understanding that because 3, 3, 3, 3 into 3 into 3, 27. Fundamental principle of counting is what we are doing using there, which I have already taught you in permutation combination chapter. So, anyway, this is 27 cubes now. Yes, sir, 27 cubes. Eh? Is my question kya hai? Find the proportion of the number of faces of smaller cubes visible to those which are not visible. First of all, a cube ka kitna faces hai? Che faces hai na? That all of you know. Six faces are there for a cube. So, as there are 27 cubes, total cubes are 27. So, 27 into 6 is the total number of faces. Total faces are 27 into 6. Did you all understood 27 into 6? Why? If you want, you can write it down or keep it 27 into 6 itself. Total. Usme visible kitna hoga? Visible are the ones on outside. Na? Which are the ones on the outside? 9 on this big cube face. Similarly, 6 cube face. So, visible will be 9 into 6 or 6 into 9. 6 into 9. That is 54. Are you all understanding that? This will be 162 total. Visible will be 54. Her big face may 9 cubes the crayana, 9 faces the crayana. So 9 into 6, 54. So visible 54 at the not visible kitna hoga. Not visible 162 minus 54 hoga. 162 minus 54. 162 minus 54, 108 hoga na. Now final question kya hai? Final question is asking number of faces of the smaller cube visible to those which are not visible. Visible to not visible that is 54 to 108. 54 by 108 is the answer that is 1 by 2. Actually 
you can keep it like 27 into 6 9 into 6 and uh, uh, that way you can cancel it and also get the common factors you can cancel also how many of you understood it those of you are confused in case you are confused please mention which step you are confused ye cube consider kariye a cube ka che faces hota hai na और हर फेस में नाइन क्यूब्स का फेसेस दिख रहा है ना छोटा क्यूब्स का सो so, हर फेस में नाइन सो नाइन इनटू सिक्स फिफ्टी फोर क्यूब्स आर देयर सॉरी फिफ्टी फोर फेसेस आर विजिबल फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ऑल अदर फेसेस आर इनसाइड ना दैट इज नॉट विजिबल सो इनसाइड क्यूब्स रिमाइनिंग होगा टोटल वन है वाई बिकॉज ईच स्मॉलर क्यूब कंसिडर किया तो उसका छह स्मॉलर फेसेस होता है ना कितना टोटल क्यूब्स है 27 वाई 3 इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री आई डी आई टोल्ड यू दैट इज 27 27 सेवन इंटू सिक्स वन सिक्सटी टू फेसेस आर देयर इन टोटल 162 सिक्सटी टू फेसेस आर देयर इन टोटल वो 162 सिक्सटी टू फेसेस में फिफ्टी फोर विजिबल है बाकी 162 सिक्सटी टू माइनस फिफ्टी फोर वन नॉट एट नॉट विजिबल है विजिबल टू नॉन विजिबल रेशियो इज आस सो फिफ्टी फोर बाय वन नॉट एट वन बाई टू इज द आंसर ऑल ऑफ यू अंड so more about cubes if you want you can go through this but this were not asked in gate yet net exam mein ek bar aaya tha this is more theory of cubes which all how many sides are painted or three side painted how many four side painted how many etc as it is not asked due to lack of time i'm skipping and this was a csar net problem of that same type csar net problem asked you want you can practice it okay this you can try later that will be better i guess let me sec check yeah there are two more questions first we will cover that try this i will provide the pdf just like we do those of you want the pdf you can be part of the telegram channel and uh get the free study materials i provide all the previous study materials also are available in that telegram channel media section and also the flash cards also you can find it there these are like puzzles Okay, so I'll explain. Yeah, you have to observe it carefully. First, I will draw the picture and then explain more. 
this is the first movement then one second no that will not solve this is the first movement why these movements are valid all those things i will tell you then from here you can move like this q So, this is a second movement, then the third movement will be this and fourth movement and fifth movement. Okay, how many of you understood it? After that, I will explain more why these movements are valid, uh, which are not, uh, sorry, uh, those of you have confusion about whether this is valid or not that also you can tell so this is first movement this is second movement the final position of the movements i am denoting here third fourth and fifth these are the five movements so five is the answer how many of you understood it please respond how option b question is asking minimum number now minimum number five is minimum why first is not valid amit can you explain Okay, first one, yeah, the result is okay, but maybe you can redraw like this. Redraw like this, then it will be valid, no? Because Christian says that this movement is, this L-shape movement is valid. Is it clear now? First movement is valid, second is valid, third is valid, fourth is valid, fifth is valid. Some of you are confused how I can go over it. I can go over it. Question is only saying that the permissible direction of movement as shown in the dotted diagram uh, without occupying any of the shaded squares at the end of each step. At the end you should not touch the dark squares. In between touching it is totally okay or going over it is totally okay. Is that clear? Yes, the case. Chess uh, game may the night movement you can think about. Without crossing, no, where it is written without crossing Omkar, it is only saying without occupying shaded square at the end of each step. End is written. Step ke end may you should not be there. Not crossing it is impossible. Definitely it is impossible. So definitely 5 is the correct answer. All of you clear? If that is clear, try the next question. Two minutes to try. Other ways are just um, um, repetition of this only sonam. Minimum is 5. That is the only way. Yeah, these questions, if you are saying, um, is there any other way to uh, find the solution? No. Uh, these are questions where it is, you have to think more. That questions, that kind of questions also comes in exam. Most of them are 2 mark questions in gate exam. As you know, see a uh, gate exam, hai, 1 mark or 2 mark, dono. Uh, type ka questions we have. Two more questions, thoda tricky hoga. It's a direction based idea also and a reasoning problem also.
okay so i'll explain an and is at the bottom left corner of the grid as shown above or shown uh, here it aims to move to the top right corner of the grid so from here it want to reach here the and moves only along the lines marked in the grid such that the current distance to the top right corner strictly decreases i'll tell you what does that mean for example the and starts from here go here now the distance to here is sm smaller than this distance now so that is a valid movement if he if the and moves this way also this distance is shorter than this distance so the distance is decreasing distance to reach the final position is decreasing so that is a valid movement so first movement this and second movement this this is also acceptable because this movement this distance is less than this distance so that remaining distance should decrease should decrease but for example i moved this much after that moved this way is that valid no because this distance is also more that is not acceptable distance to the top right corner distance to here should strictly decrease equal to be nahi chalega it should strictly decrease i hope all of you understood that means if you are taking a up then it should be right only up and right only are possible combinations of up and right only are allowed you cannot go down you cannot go left because that will decrease that will increase the length this will be more than this na and this will be more than this that is why up and right only allowed left and uh, bottom are not allowed are you all understanding so from here okay now check options that will be better from here is it possible this way after this the problem is to reach here after moving this way here to go back left is not allowed na that itself says that this is not possible this one also from p we need to start going to the right going to this going to this going to this but where is this line ye line ke liye wapas aana padega na so that is also not the answer but this is totally okay up and right up and right using up and right only you can form this picture so that is why that is okay what is the problem with this if you start here 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 then this is a down that is not acceptable this is a left that is not acceptable all of you are understanding so among the four options only option c is acceptable or that is part of the trajectory or we can say this is one possible trajectory by which it can reach the uh, finishing point according to the condition given in the question all of you understood this <coughs> so these were the major reasoning problems or miscellaneous puzzles or miscellaneous reasoning problems in gate exam question paper which came uh, we can conclude here this this completes the reasoning area major topics of reasoning area so any other doubts any of you have and once again thanks to those people who were able to attend live or recorded once again this course uh will will try to give you maximum content in the upcoming days also tomorrow's class timing maybe 10 o'clock maybe 11 o'clock that i will update you so be part of the telegram channel so that you don't miss any update tomorrow's topic i will tell you just a minute any other feedback or anything and if you like the session do let me know through the like button through the comment section yeah uh, some of you are uh, motivating me regularly with the with your comments happy to see all of them try to reply most of you uh, to your comments so continue doing that because that is an easy way to let others know whether this course is effective or not what you felt about the course uh, you can mention it in the comments uh, whether it was effective mention that if it is not effective that also you can mention i don't mind but do let me know that will help me to understand whether you are able to follow this and whether these kinds of initiatives are useful for people 
and secondly that will help others to know and that will help youtube also to know whether this course or whether the series whether it should recommend to more people also so one second Thank you all of you for the good words. Thank you Preeti, Omkar and all others for the good words. Yeah, I think uh, tomorrow's session, I think it is data interpretation, I guess I will check the schedule, whatever schedule I have given in the beginning, uh, that lecture will be there tomorrow. So see you all tomorrow, have a good night. Uh, thank you EC boys, thank you all of you for the good words. Take care all of you, have a good night. See you tomorrow with the next lecture and watch the previous lectures if you have missed any of the videos. All of their recordings are available and today's class study material also I will provide in the telegram channel. So uh, be part of the telegram channel by checking out the description of this video. So thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.